Today, if the Warriors lose and they get an NBA legend, these NBA legends range from Carmelo Anthony all the way to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We will be spinning a wheel to determine which legend the Warriors get, and this wheel is only spun if they lose the NBA Finals. Uh, on the low, this team really is not bad. In 2K, the Warriors have such a deep roster. We have like 278, 79 overalls. We're not even playing. Moses Moody's in the G League. And then I really could have interchanged almost every single starter and bench player aside from Steph Curry. So there's definitely a lot to do with the team, even if we lose. Plus, if we lose, we're going to add a legend from the NBA wheel spin. I have 55 wins. It's really not bad. Jonathan Kaminga, most improved player. Look at that. 1962 is still in a block. That is fantastic to see. Yeah, Steph Curry does not make an all-NBA team. Probably won't have any. Oh, Draymond Green, actually. All-defensive. Second team up to an 85 overall. Trace Jackson Davis made an all-rookie team. He was our starting center. Season stats, Kaminga, we know what you did. Trace, 11-8-2, a steal, two blocks. Perfect. Clay, 16-3 and 3, 43% from the field, over 40% from three. Steph, 25-4-5 and a steal. Bro is not slowing down. Draymond doing exactly what he does, 9-7-7. Over a steal and a block. Wiggins off the bench in his very limited minutes. Still averaged 13-4. Two assists, a steal, and a block. Per 36 stats are actually amazing. He's one of the players I could have started. Chris Paul can also start. 8-3-7 and a steal. Kevon Looney with 4 and 7. And then rookie Brandon with 8-4-2 and a steal. Once again, definitely has the potential to start for us. This is the official rotation. Okay, 2K mess with the minutes. We got Curry, Clay, Kaminga, Draymond, Kevon Looney, Chris Paul. Andrew Wiggins, Brandon, and Trace Jackson Davis. This is not at all the minute splits I had, but I mean, I guess it was working towards the end of the season, so we will use it. You don't see it, but we just 4-0'd the OKC Thunder, and then we also just swept the Pelicans, so now we're playing the two-seeded Mavericks. You have Luka, Kyrie, Josh Green is actually starting for them. PJ Washington, Daniel Gafford, Derek Lively, Dante Exum, Tim Hardaway Jr., Derek Jones Jr. Not a bad roster. I do think we have the better team, and we do beat them in six games. Lucas still does get that Western Conference Finals MVP. MVP, sorry. The Knicks are the first seed, which is to be expected. Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, who's having the best season of his career. OG Ananobi, Julius Randle, who was an All Star before he got injured. Then Mitchell Robinson. Off the bench, I got Josh Hart, Isaiah Harnstein, Precious, Alec Berg, Miles McBride. Who the contract this man has such a steal getting a player like him. Zaire, Shake Milton, Jericho Sims. Like that's such a good. A good team we do take game one we're probably gonna win okay they take game two and game three game four goes right back to us game five goes to them game six okay so we are adding an nba legend this first season we did just lose in the finals as i said we were gonna win we did not it's hard to beat a point guard who's averaging 28 8 and 2 at the end of the day this is what the wheel is looking like uh as you can see there are just a ton of players you probably can't even make out their names i will go ahead and spin it real quick to see who we will be adding to the team oh my gosh are you kidding me john stockton is such a good player but that's the last position this team needs if you guys want me to do more videos like this videos with a wheel spin challenges whatever just leave a like and comment down below so i know Honestly, John Stockton probably wasn't even the craziest addition to our team, which is saying something. I was able to make a couple trades. Like I said, the team was just too deep. And then Draymond was an 85. Clay was a high overall. So was Wiggins. Do we have any all NBA players? Nope. Any all defensive players? Nope. Unfortunate. Okay, we're the second seed. Hey, at least you can see where we are now. Whoa. Did they eliminate the play in? I guess so. But John Stockton averaged what he averages 10, 12. Two steals. Kaminga, 18, 6, 3, a steal, half a block. Curry, 25, 4, and 6. Was able to trade for Zion because he was only an 86 overall. And the rebuilds right now is like an 86. Then you trade for him next season, 94. Average 23, 7, 4, a steal, and a block. Alperin with 14, 9, 7, and 1. Then Brandon still coming off our bench, averaging 9. Trace Jackson with 8 and 6. Moses Moody now playing for us, 7 points. And picked up PJ Washington, who did average eight as a forward, which is actually really good. So we do sweep the Pelicans once again, playing the Mavericks. And okay, we beat them in seven games. Playing the Nuggets, you have Jamal, KCP, Michael Porter. It's just their team. I guess they had a Tyus Jones to the bench. But other than that, that's the same exact roster they have right now. And we beat them in six games. John Stockton wins a Western Conference Finals MVP. Wow. 
We're playing the Pistons. Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Azir, Isaiah Stewart, Jalen Dern, Yusuf Nurkic, Wiseman. This is pretty much the team they have now, too, with the additions of Bruce Brown and Nurkic. But aside from that, their core is intact, and they were the third seed with that roster. Yeah, they get beat in five games, so it looks like we will not be adding another NBA legend. But I will go ahead and simulate another season here. I think I'm going to mix up the roster quite a bit and just go super young maybe we'll just have to wait and see i ended up trading trace jackson davis brandon kuminga alperine and zion all in the same package and it looks like we're still going to be the same exact record we've had the past two three seasons now we're not gonna hit 60 wins once again but we're still gonna be a mid to high 50 win team now i know what you're thinking what kind of player can you get for packaging players like that all in the same trade package well guess what we got victor Wimbanyama on the team luka with another freaking mvp we also were able to get the first pick in that trade which gave us cooper flag as our starting small forward and we had the defensive player of the year on our team probably victor just made the all nba first team probably won't lose this season so john stockton still just gonna hold down the four as our NBA legend that this team has acquired unless there's just like a major we're the second seed how are we the second seed uh what we just lost to the trailblazers scoot henderson anthony shane and sharp jabari walker up to an 80 deandre ayton who's actually been playing out of his mind this team is this team is stacked nah that's a good team all right respect to them for upsetting us in seven games Player stats on the season, Victor with 26, 15, 4, 2, and 3. Cooper Flag, 17, 9, 3, 2, and 2 as a rookie. Kaminga down to 16 and 5. Stockton down to 8 and 11 with 2 steals. He has 37. Jeez. Curry with less than 20 points. Our bench was awful, okay, guys? Jordan Clarkson, 11 points off the bench. That's fine. But then we added Gordon Hayward, Rashawn Holmes, and Skylar Mays. They just had to backpack the bench. But hey, at least we get an NBA legend added to our roster for this final season. Looks like the Thunder will win an NBA championship. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Please give us a wing or a big man, not a guard, not a guard. Oh, yeah. is it Rick Barrier? Oh, Jim Baylor, that's not awful. That's literally the shortest board we could have gotten, but I will take it. Looks like Elgin Baylor was the missing piece. Bro was a 98 overall for us, so I would take it. I know he's an NBA great, and he's like a top 15-ish player of all time maybe he's 20 or 25 i have no idea i know he's super underrated and almost at least a lot of people don't really know anything about him he is only 6'5 at that forward position which back then i guess was good nowadays i don't know how that would work but looks like it's working out just fine for us we can be a 70 win team this year and we will be we have the potential to beat the warriors all-time best record and we do 74 and 8 we also had the MVP in Victor Wimbanyama, who averaged 24, 12, 5, 2, and 3 for us. And then he also won Defensive Player of the Year. Steve Co Kerr, Coach of the Year. We also have Exec of the Year. Look at that. Elgin Baylor, All-NBA first team, up to a 99 now. He's up there with Victor Wimbanyama. No one on the second team. For the third team, we also don't have anyone. All-Defensive first team, there's Elgin Baylor again with Victor. My gosh. All right, we are the first seed, so sorry my face cam's covering it up. I'll just simulate this real quick. There's no way we get upset. I'll simulate this against the Spurs too. Yeah, okay. We only lost one combined game in those two rounds. Oh, Jim Baylor. Holy moly. 25, 12, 7. One and a half steals. And then over a block. Shooting 54% from the field. 46 from three. Bro is that guy. Holy cow. Victor, we know your stats. Cooper Flag. Is this his third season? It is up to 28, 4 over a steal and two blocks. Bro's going to be a demon in the league. I don't care what he does at Duke, he's still going to be an insane NBA player. Curry with 19 and 4. Definitely on the downslope of his career, he has 39. Stockton doing absolutely nothing, 6 and 8, but... Oh my gosh, his shooting splits suck too, bro. Is it, is it time to start Jordan Poole? I brought him back, he's averaging 14 points for us. Also have Clint Capella off the bench, Najee Marshall, who was only a 76, now he's an 80. And I added Bruce Brown. Alright, let's do something real quick. Jordan Poole... Welcome back to the starting job in the Golden State Warriors lineup. And, oh my gosh, we win in six. Elgin Baylor, Western Conference Finals MVP. We're playing the freaking Wizards. All right, GG. Let me see what Poole did. His first game starting 31 points with insane efficiency. That's what I like to see. The Wizards have Mike Conley, Bill O'Colobi, who's averaging, it's actually the highest points I've ever seen him average. 
Didn't he add Vita? This man is playing like a demon. Kyle Kuzma, Marvin Bagley. He was playing good for them, but then he got injured. Dari Eason, bro. Donovan Klingon, Zachariah. Why are there like best players on their bench? All right, that's an easy sweep, bro. GG, give it here. Victor Wimbanyama with the finals MVP. What did Jordan Poole have? Jordan, no. 12-2-9. That's actually not too bad. A classic Jordan Poole game. All right, well, for the every loss that we had in the finals, we did add an NBA legend. Those NBA legends ended up being John Stockton and Elgin Baylor, and we were able to put the Warriors back on the map. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.